what's up you guys welcome to my channel i am really really thrilled to have you here i'm so excited if it's your first time here i want to say welcome welcome if you are a returning subscriber i want to say thank you so much thank you i love you so much i appreciate you so much i am consolata and i am that christian trailblazer and i also want you to be a trailblazer in every area of your life but well it's really not about me it's all about jesus and today i'm actually going to be sharing a prophetic word that the lord has been laying on my heart for so long that god is bringing us into a season of restoration god is bringing restoration in every area of our lives our finances our health our spirituality our families our education he is bringing restoration i know that 2020 has taken such a toll on us like there's been so many death there's covid like a whole world pandemic but then god is just reminding us that he is still in control god God has got our backs and the year is not yet over and God has got a plan and a purpose for your life. God wants to restore your life, to restore your health, to give you strength. But you know how God operates. God wants us to come to him from a place of obedience, from a place of submission. Therefore, this comes with a condition of following God's heart. So the Lord gave me this scripture from Proverbs chapter 3 from verse is five and I'm going to be reading the NIV version and the message translation as well so it says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding now MSG says trust God from the bottom of your heart don't try to figure everything on your own and I know that the world sometimes pushes us to make haste decisions to do things out of our own thinking or use worldly principles but here we are being told to go from trusting the world trusting our own intuition to trusting god so trusting god is not always easy i want you to understand that sometimes trusting god requires you to let go of what you are holding on to sometimes you are trusting god with some areas of your life but you're not trusting god with totally every area of your life now god is saying trust in the lord with all your heart with all your heart is a resemblance of all of our lives because the heart is literally what's keeping us alive if it wasn't pumping then we'd be dead right so it's like with every area of your life you need to trust god trust god with the addiction that you're going through i was sharing it my testimony on instagram the other day that i'd been struggling with an addiction on and off and then for 21 days i chose to totally trust in god say god i totally give all of this to you that you would lead me that you would guide me that you'd give me strength and that helps me to operate from a place of gratefulness as i actually journaled like each day i ticked off each day that i managed to go through without falling prey into that temptation into that addiction i ticked off and i just said lord i am so grateful and for me that has been a point of trusting god even when i don't feel like it even when my flesh is consolata just do it but i've just begun to operate from a place of totally relying on god not on myself not on my family not on my boss not on anybody but on god because everything that we ever want everything that we ever need is totally found in god now it says that listen to god's voice in everything you do everywhere you go is the one who will keep you on track so like i was saying previously there are times when we like want to hear god's voice about our purpose our calling but then we don't want to hear god's voice about the relationships that we are in whether romantic relationships friendships or business partnerships actually actually you already know that God probably doesn't want you to be in a relationship with so and so but because you just want that person in your company because you're seeing physical benefits of what that partnership could bring 
But now the word is saying, listen to God's words. Listen, not just to hear, but to listen to what the Lord is saying. It's more than just about us. It's more than just about hearing. But to listen, listening is now hearing and then following or actually doing. The doing part is what distinguishes those that just hear the word of the Lord and those that listen and are obedient to the word of the Lord. Because God is speaking and the word says, man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Now if we actually rely on God's word, indeed it is in him that we live and move and have our being. Then we'd be able to be sustained in the Lord. He would keep us on track everything that we do if we listen to God's voice first before making decisions before telling the next person what's going on in your life but first telling God because God is the one that is the most faithful if we truly obeyed God from a place of just saying Lord we surrender we surrender everything God would help us like in every area of our lives and in everything that we do. So don't assume that you know it all. Run to God and run from evil. Sometimes we've acquired so much knowledge from the degrees we've earned, from the wisdom we've read that other people have actually shared with us or what our parents have told us. But now it's like, don't assume that you know it all. We're still children. The reason why we continue to learn is that God wants to remind us that we don't know everything. He is the all-knowing God. He's the only one that knows everything. Because even before the earth was created, he knew the reason why he would create you, he would create me and the next person. So now, relying on God to hear that he gives us revelation, he gives us understanding. And you know, I've been doing a new version Bible plan on the book of Proverbs. And this is like day 13. And it's just been so humbling. Just a reminder that really I do not know anything. Like there's so much wisdom that oozes from God. And just hearing God's thoughts, hearing God's mind as he inspired people like Solomon to actually write the Proverbs and David, the Psalms. For me, it's just been really humbling to know that, you know, I don't know it all, but I know a man who knows everything. Who knew me, who knew you before the creation of the earth. We knew you and knew me before we were conceived in our mother's homes. Isn't that just so amazing? Isn't that just humbling on its own? All right. When you do this, right, this will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Now, MSG is like my guy, you know. It's like your body will glow with health. Your very bones will vibrate with life. Imagine the benefits of being obedient and of relying on God. The benefits of trusting God with every area of our lives. Like God has so much in store for us. This is just the basics of what God could do for us. In reality, for me, even my skin, Keen, like I had so much acne but the moment I began to just trust God with every area of my life God has been faithful like okay this is so clear from some of, if you check some of the YouTube videos that I did in the past I had so much acne but for me I've taken God's word as it comes that your body will glow with health God cares about every area of our lives including our health and therefore when you trust when you obey him he will make our bodies to glow with health honor god with your wealth with the first fruits of all of your crops then your bands will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine MSG says, honor God with everything that you own. Give him the feast and the beast. Your bands will burst. Your wine vats will, will brim over. And for me, you know, I realize it's not just about tithe. Because some of us don't even earn anything. But it's about everything that we are. Everything that we own. It's our time. It's our gifts. It's how we serve everything that we own. We give God the very best. Not like when you've gone through the day, you've done everything that you like, you've spent time gossiping, you've spent time lying, losing your integrity, bribing and all of that. Then, then you just decide that you want to come back to God and like give him five minutes of your day. How about we invest into a culture of giving God just 30 minutes, the very best of us, 
And if it's in terms of tithe, it's not just giving 10% of our salary, but the gross of everything that we earn. But now in this case, it actually says everything that we own. It says, honor God with everything that you own. And sometimes you feel like, I don't own anything. Like we're still living in our parents' homes. We're still relying on our parents sometimes. But I'm just like, what else do I own? That is totally mine. And it's that unique gift, that talent that God has given you. And so many times people ask me, Consolata, how best can I walk in my purpose? And sometimes it's so confusing. You don't know what your purpose really could be. But I want to tell you that if you are good in web designing or flyer designing, it's as simple as literally designing a flyer for a conference for a certain ministry at a discount or for free. Imagine all of the women, all of the people that are going to come and pray and be healed and get restoration. Their health is restored as they go probably to a prayer meeting that was advertised by the flyer that you created. Now look at the lives that you impact by simply giving your gift through giving. So sometimes it's so much about giving. It's about giving our time to God. And giving our time to God doesn't mean like just prayer, but it could be serving somebody else. It could be counseling somebody. It could be praying for someone. It could be serving in any way that we can. And I feel like every morning that we wake up, we should just pray that, Lord, I am grateful for life. Not only grateful for life, but Lord, how best can I serve you today? How best can I make the kingdom of God a better place and how can I make other people experience you on this earth through me and for me that's just how I've been living trusting God giving God the best of everything that I own my time you know sometimes I wake up like today I actually woke up at four like I'm not even a morning person but I woke up at four to do chores by five I was bathing and preparing to leave six hours out of the house and as I'm shooting this is like 7 a.m and I'm already shooting this and I have like three more shoots but I know there's a purpose because God has spoken to me and I've listened it's about listening to God. That what do you want me to do? And sometimes we want to do things for clout. Like so that people can just upload us and people can say, well done. But what's most important is that God says, well done, good and faithful servant. And for me, that's just been a daily pursuit that, Lord, I want to satisfy you, to make you happy, that you be satisfied with me. If you are satisfied with me, what more could I ever need? What, what more do I need if you are satisfied with me? So, yes, that's basically the word that God has for us in this season, that he is restoring everything. But operate from a place of obedience. Listen to God. Honor God with everything you own. Do what God wants and desires for your life. Spend time in the presence of God. Listen to him. Have a connection. Have a relationship with him. Invest in your relationship with God. When you have a great relationship with God, then you have a great relationship with yourself and then with those around you. So that's basically the word for today. And I hope that you've been encouraged by the few examples that I've been giving of my own self, of how God has been working in my life. And I hope that truly truly God does bring restoration and I pray for you today that God may truly restore your health your family I pray for broken families that they may be restored your finances in this season in the mighty name of Jesus I pray oh God for restoration in every area in the name of Jesus I send the fire of the Holy Spirit to take over your life in Jesus name of those around you that you may begin to influence to walk in purpose because you you, oh Lord, have spoken a word. And if you say it, oh God, we believe it, oh God. By your stripes, we are healed. By one word, oh God, we are made whole because you, oh God, have spoken and it is so. We thank you, Lord. We love you. We honor you. We are so grateful, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for giving us a heart of obedience as you restore our lives, as you restore the world, as you restore us from brokenness to healing in the name of Jesus. We love you, Lord, and we adore you. So thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please do subscribe to this channel and 
let's continue to walk in our purpose but that's the very reason why god created us and that's why we are here god placed that gift in you because god knew that we could count on you we could count on that gift when the need arose that's a quote by Sarah Jix Roberts and it's just been helping me. So goodbye. I feel like I could keep talking and talking and talking, but I really love you. I really appreciate you. So tell your mother, your aunt, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your cousin of cousins and your third cousin about this channel so that all of our lives may be transformed. I love you so much. Bye. Bye.